Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a button that'll let your users mass delete related records. So here, for example, we have a campaign, and this campaign has 32 people related to it, 32 campaign members. Sure, your marketing users could go in and click the box next to each name and remove them that way, but what if you just want to have one big button at the campaign level and they can click it and it'll delete all the related records. And I'm just doing this for campaigns and campaign members, but you could create it for anything, accounts and contacts, or really any related records. The way we do this is by creating a flow. The flow is really going to do all the heavy lifting for us. So I'm going to create a screen flow. That's because a user is going to click a button and make something happen. It's not scheduled. It doesn't run when there's a backend update to a record. It's when someone clicks a button. So the first thing we're going to do is create a variable in our flow called record ID. And you need to spell it and get the capitalization just like this. And you need to mark it as available for input. The page is going to send the record ID of the campaign to the flow. That's how the flow is going to know which campaign members we need to delete. So now I'm going to add a step to the flow, and that's the delete campaign members step. So I'm just going to delete records, and I'm going to specify which records I want to delete. Now in my case for this demo, it's campaign members. Uh, it could have been anything in your in your real world scenario. And what I want to do is make sure that these campaign members are the ones that are related to the campaign where you click the button. So if you're a campaign member on this campaign, you're the one we're going to delete. Well, I want to have a little are you sure screen, a little warning screen here, just so that if someone clicks the button uh, by accident, maybe there's one more chance to cancel before uh, all the deletions take place. So here I've created a little screen that your end users would see. You didn't need to create the screen, but I just think it's a good idea. I'm going to customize what the buttons say. Instead of next or previous, I'll say something like delete. Okay. Uh, but really, I'm just customizing the screen so that my users have a little message. This is unnecessary, but I think it's a good touch. So the flow starts, it shows a message, and then it deletes all the related campaign members. I save the flow, I activate the flow, and that's it. Now we just need to create the button to actually get the flow onto the page. So to do that, I go into my object manager. And in this case, the button's going to go on the campaign record. So I'm in the campaign object. And I'm going to create a new action. This action launches a flow. And we select the flow that we just created. And then we name the button. And I'm just going to make it stand out here by just putting flow delete in all caps. But now we have the button. We have a custom action that will launch the flow. But it's not on the page yet. So we need to get the button onto the page layout. And in one of the recent releases of Salesforce, there's now this ability to have something called dynamic actions. So you can actually pick and choose which buttons you want to have show up on your page layout in Lightning. And you can even add some filter criteria to them. So here, for example, I'll add the new action we just created. There's the flow one we just created. You can reorder which uh, the order of the buttons. And I can add a filter criteria. So this button will only appear if it's an active campaign, or if there's more than 50 people, or if this user is a marketing uh, employee, something like that. So you can create cr conditions under which this button shows up. But in my case, it's just a demo, so the button's always there. There we go. I hit save, and now the button is on the page layout. So all your users need to do is click the flow delete button, uh, make sure they agree that they want to delete. They click next and the, the delete action takes place. And you can see all those campaign members are gone. So what do we do? In summary, we created an action, which is a button. And the action launches a flow. And the flow does all the deleting, does all the work for us. And the way the flow knows which records to delete is because the button pass the record ID of the campaign we were looking at to the flow. So if we didn't create that record ID variable in the flow, the, camp, the flow would know which campaign members to delete. 
So that record ID variable is what maps the flow to the specific record you click the button from. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.